Hello everybody, this is Steven and I'm here to share to you my own version of the keto-friendly salad. So I make the, I, I, I buy the greens, I, I mix them together and this is very special because I also am going to, going to share to you the dressing that I actually discovered for myself. This is not Caesar salad dressing, it may be close to that, but it's not Caesar salad because I don't use mustard basically very simple ingredients and i hope that you are going to like it please make it yourself i'm gonna show you in a little bit how to do it and for me it's, it's very amazing uh it, it is really tasty and delicious and i hope that you also find it delicious and make it uh your own okay when, when you have the time but uh, let me just say that i don't really have a complete or exact measurement to the ingredients. I just really eyeball it because that's how I do it. And this is my way of saying to you guys that keto doesn't have to be really technical and very uh, exact and and really tight. Of course, especially in the Philippines, you really can't find most of the ingredients that are very organic and 100% really keto. So you have to just work with what you have and yeah, uh, you can still be keto, maybe not 100% keto, like in all the food ingredients, but still, overall, you can stay keto. It happened to me, I was able to do it, and yeah, just stay away from carbs, okay? So here is my, my garden fresh salad. All right, so first up, I am gonna, I don't know how much, uh, how, many this is but i'm going to use uh romaine lettuce romaine lettuce i got this from from manila from a, an organic organic farm they farm their their own you know their own romaine lettuce so just put it like that i actually use a very big bowl before i used uh, a smaller bowl like a very small bowl but i, I can't accommodate everything because you need five to seven cups of green so i'm gonna i'm actually this is for my pasta before or salads so sweet salad so now i'm using it for my uh, so that's it just put it like that really fast okay like that there i have a i have more here so yep oops okay you just put it there, okay? Put it there in the in the bowl. I, I before I, I tried to just uh, like break them into pieces, but it doesn't look really good because you know sometimes uh, most of the times you eat with your eyes as well, right? So yeah, and I'm, I apologize if it's a bit dark because uh, the camera is adjusting to the light behind me, so it's. Uh, there's a backlighting, so that's why it's darker in the foreground. So, see, it, it really looks good. Lettuce, romaine lettuce. You can also use iceberg lettuce or green lettuce, green wave lettuce or red wave lettuce, depending if you want more color in your salad, you can do that. Okay, so there are some leaves here that are, you know, rotten because maybe they got, they got wet in, they got, sorry, they got wet in the, in the fridge so you can also take that out okay so I'm just really trying to choose healthy vibrant green leaves here and yeah so by the way I'm just gonna share it to you here now you're gonna use uh, you're gonna be using lettuce for, for this particular Salad, lettuce, okay, listen, it's okay. Lettuce, tomatoes, cucumber, and a very special ingredient I'm gonna show you later, okay? So that's why this is really important that I show this to you. Okay, so those are the last leaves, and I'm just gonna fix the, uh, clean these, okay? So what we do is when we're gonna wash these leaves, okay? So these are washed. So you just have to like drain them, uh, drain drain the water out of the thing, okay? So next, we are going to cut some tomatoes. So basically, I, I just won't show you how I cut them because you just it's up to you. So I'm gonna cut some tomatoes and some cucumber, okay? I'll be back. All right, guys, so basically this is how it looks here. So 
I just chopped the cucumber and the tomatoes into circles. That's the easiest. You can also go for cubes or strips, whatever. Again, according to how you like it. And the very special ingredient that I'm, that I'm gonna put here is, is this. And this is turkey pastrami. This is sold in deli shops, but we buy our turkey pastrami. So this is really, really good. Turkey pastrami in Jedco near BTC and like under the shops under the overpass there in, in Banilad. So uh, we buy that there and then basically you just, this is ready to eat. You don't have to cook this anymore. It's ready to, to eat. So what you basically do is get the pastrami and just like make some strips out of it. I usually do this like that and then I just cut them into pieces with my bare hands. Clean hands of course, right? So and then I just drop it here. I don't know if you want to see it. Do you want to see it? I'm going to show you, okay? Here. There. See? Looks really good. Looks really good. Okay, I think I need some more, okay? I'm going to add some more. And this is really very cheap, you guys. Uh, we just happened to pass by you know, the Jedco deli shop, meat and deli shop, and we you know when you look at, when you're not used to buying these, um, you will be afraid to ask because they might be very, what, uh, expensive, but they are, they, they actually aren't expensive. Uh, this is, what, 600, uh, no, 100 grams, and it's for, it's only 63 pesos, and the other one, uh, was 60 pesos for still a hundred grams so the more pastrami you want the better so I'm actually putting in five strips so again I'm just gonna cut these with my bare hands and just you know and then the other two here just like strip it like that wow so tasty it's like bacon but the turkey yeah, so you, ha you have your greens here and your protein. So there. Now it's time to make the dressing, which is, um, which is very, very simple. For, sorry, I just really had to adjust so that you won't be having some uh, very hard time. For the dressing, you need a little, bit, a little bowl to mix all the ingredients in and of course some spoon. Of course we don't use, uh, at least not yet, we don't use gadgets here yet, right? So you also need mayo, whatever kind of mayo, but please, please be careful with the ingredients. You have to look for a sweet spot or a sweet compromise when it comes to ingredients. Please just stay away from modified food starch or MSG. When you have those or when you have sugar and sweeteners, and aspartame or whatever, please just stay, stay far from all those kinds of mayo and just look for the mayo. Of course, it's we're talking about your health, so you really need to give more effort in looking for the right ingredients, okay? Because still, if, if you eat some of the ingredients that are healthy and then you put in, you know, a not so healthy or really not, really not healthy ingredient, so it just, you know, you know, just uh, balances everything out. Okay, so you need mayo, and then you also need two teaspoons, uh, for this one maybe two to three tablespoons of mayonnaise, so then you need two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar, and then I also put in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and what else? Two pinches of salt, and uh, one pinch of paprika I use Spanish paprika and one uh, no, maybe maybe two pinches of uh, pepper to taste what else did I forget anything hmm. maybe no no not nothing more so oh I forget for the fat content you need to add uh, two cup uh, you know that the cap of you know the cap of this Bambi vegetable uh, all natural co co coconut oil this is very healthy coconut oil so you just need you pour the oil in the cap and you need two cups okay to mix everything so I'm gonna show that to you okay this is the mayo and then next will be the apple cider vinegar 
apple cider vinegar in and a little bit of uh, vanilla I don't know why I love vanilla in this dressing okay coconut oil in next will be um, salt pepper paprika that's it in goes the salt pepper and paprika so just need to mix all of these together okay until it looks like this okay and then just pour that in um, yeah and here is the finished product eat up you guys thank you and see you in the next video so that's it you guys i hope that you enjoyed my recipe i hope that you will also make it and please let me know if ever you tried the recipe and please comment below 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 if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet please consider subscribing and then you can just watch the videos uh, in the keto playlist or even my vlogs in the channel and please communicate with me let me know what you think if you're starting keto how is it uh, are, are you feeling great of course a reminder when you when you're starting keto the first fir first week or the second weeks the first one or two weeks will be very uh, will be very uh, difficult to struggle with because your body changes and adapts to the to the fat content in your body and without the carbohydrates or a little bit of carbohydrates and it differs uh, according to the person to each person so for some they go one week and then they're okay then for others two three depending okay but for me I guess the the really sweet spot is two weeks two weeks into the keto diet you will experience some changes in your bodies and, and, and your body will be able to start adapting after that and please remember once you start high fat moderate protein and low carb please don't look back and just stay with the two weeks and your body will start to to adjust okay because when you start high fat and you still go with high protein uh, high carbohydrates you are setting up yourself for failure especially in your health okay so that's it you guys just stay away from all the carbs and sugar for now and i hope that this recipe is going to help you bye bye